Hey everybody, Comic Crack. Um, did I do a video yesterday? Is this still a continuation of my daily video blogging? Um, today is Black Sad. Uh, this is, from what I understand, the first volume. It's a collection of three stories that uh, Dark, Horse, Dark Horse put out. <clears throat> um, the first story, let me just... Uh, somewhere within the shadows, I believe was 2000. Uh, yeah, so 2000, 2002, and 2005. There's also two more volumes. Um, it's a book that I've seen Dr. Monkeybot rave about. I'm pretty sure LaRassa raved about it. Um, and I've seen it many times at Comic Factory downtown Winnipeg uh, on their shelves. They have quite a lot of well, maybe not quite a lot of they have they have a a handful of um, more kind of European comics and and that sort of thing reprints of European comics uh, that I always end up looking through. I've looked through these books numerous times, uh, but haven't jumped on them. And lately, with my kind of ventures into Druyer and Tardy and etc. etc. and Manchette stuff. Um, I decided today was the day to dive in. Uh, so I just finished reading it and it really is great. It's a really great story uh, or series of stories. Um, kind of 1950s-ish, uh, right around then with some of the topics that they tackle. There's an intro here by uh, Steranko. Um, Jim, Mr. Jim Steranko talking and singing the praises of this book. So the first story opens up with a murder. Uh, we get introduced to Black Sad and it turns out that this woman he knows uh, from a previous part of his life. They had a relationship together. Um, so the whole book is kind of noir, uh, crime noir type of stuff. Um, I, love, I love these pages, love the colors on these pages here. Um, so as you can see, the whole world is in, uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? The whole world consists of animals, um, and they're all sort of characteristically human, um, and what animal that they are represents kind of what their station is in life to some degree. Uh, you know, like there was that snake, that lizard who was kind of, he's a kind of assassin in this story. Um, they don't go so far as making the police pigs or anything like that. It's not meant really to be comical. Uh, but there is some sort of kind of representation, animal representation of, of who these characters are in life. Uh, I enjoyed the first story. It was a good intro. Uh, like I said, a really good intro to the world, a really good intro to all the art. Um, but I think my favorite story was this Arctic Nation, which kind of centers around uh, racism and stuff. Um, and I, I really like this story. Out of the three, I think this was my favorite. Uh, the story of a, a little girl that gets kidnapped and Black Sad kind of gets sucked into this whole mystery. Um, yeah, and uncovers kind of a bit of corruption and that sort of thing in this small town. Uh, great stuff. I mean, I don't really know what else to tell you about it other than uh, it's a hell of a read. It, it reads pretty quickly. Um, and it's not, it's not really, and then of course there's some good old fashioned sex. Uh, it's not really something that's uh, too dense of a read that... Uh, it, it, it doesn't feel like a difficult read, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Through all my absolute babbling right now, I apologize. Um, it's just a really nice world and really easy to get into. Uh, it follows a lot of the same tropes that all sorts of noir and crime stuff do, so it's not taking things in a new direction by any stretch. But it is tackling some of these issues... Uh, like I said, this this racism and stuff in the second story. 
uh, but not heavy handedly. I didn't find it heavy handed anyway. Uh, just really entertaining. Uh, both of the creators work in animation and they, they met uh, in the 90s, I think it's said in the back, uh, and kind of had been working on some projects for themselves and for their respective companies, but always kept in touch with the intention of creating a, a character in a series for themselves. The first one was such a hit that they just kept going with it. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's a beautiful hardcover book from Dark Horse, $29.99 US. Um, I think actually he had it priced at the US price, uh, which is a, a good thing. I didn't have to pay the kind of Canadian equivalent of $30 US, which was pretty great. Uh, so yeah, really, really great. I'm glad that I finally took the plunge uh, to check this out. Uh, I will be getting the other two volumes at some stage in the next week or two for sure uh, to fully dive into this world. Uh, ones that I haven't read yet that I also picked up today, uh, a couple of Tardy. I have these reprinted in Cheval Noir. And I've read a couple of them. He's got the first two books at the shop. I believe there was more than two volumes. Um, but I thought I'd dive in and give this a shot too. Uh, so this is Tardy doing color work. And uh, it's a beautiful hardcover as well. And then I picked up the other uh, Tardy and Manchette, Run Like Crazy, Run Like Hell, um, which I can't wait to read. I'm probably going to read this one later tonight uh, before I... I head to bed. Uh, he has a couple of more of these black and white tardy books. They're, they're uh, more of his war stuff, which I was going to pick one up. Um, but seeing this other stuff, I decided to just pick up the one book instead and uh, explore some other territory. So yeah, looking forward to seeing those reviews soon. Uh, I'm liking this kind of shorter quick reviews of individual books. Let me know if you have any thoughts on that uh, book, Black Sad Period, if you've read it. Thoughts on these other ones. Um, that's it, I think. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And uh, as always, thanks for supporting my channel and watching all these videos that I just am incessantly posting lately. Right on. We'll talk to you.